Hi everybody, it's Honest John. Um, Social Security is probably the most successful program ever created by any government ever on earth. Before Social Security, 80% of our senior citizens lived in poverty. Now it's less than 20%. It has not added one penny to the national debt and will not for at least 20 years. So why is there all this controversy about Social Security? Why are conservatives hell-bent on destroying the program? There are two simple reasons. First, it is a matter of faith for conservatives that socialism is evil. Conservatives embrace this belief with all of their heart and soul. They cannot explain why they believe it. They cannot explain what socialism actually is. But when a conservative says, that's socialism, he means that's evil. And he expects everyone else to agree with him. Now, Social Security is not pure socialism, but it is the closest thing to a socialist program that we have in the United States. It's obviously not evil. It does a tremendous amount of good, and it's very popular. This drives conservatives crazy. How can this evil thing be? They don't understand it, and they hate it. It's the same reaction a Christian would have if they found out that hell is actually nicer than heaven. It's, it shakes their fundamental belief. So they feel that it must be destroyed. The second reason is that all those Wall Street fat cats who back the conservatives see all that money sitting out of their reach in the Social Security Trust Fund. And they want it. They want it real bad. So there is a concerted effort on the part of many of the super rich and the conservatives to destroy Social Security. It's why Rick Perry called it a Ponzi scheme. It's why every so-called fix that conservatives propose for Social Security would result in its destruction. They want the money that is currently being put in the Social Security Trust Fund to flow into Wall Street instead. Now, this would be a huge mistake. The financial crisis has taught us that that would be disastrous for senior citizens. But like everything else conservatives do, their idea of fixing Social Security is not making it better or safer for the elderly. It's about the 1%. Now, there's a way to make Social Security solvent forever, and it's very simple. See, most Americans pay Social Security taxes on all of their income, but the rich only pay on a small percentage of their income. And even though they collect the top amount under the law, that's the way it is. If we made the rich pay Social Security taxes on 100% of their income like everybody else, it would make Social Security solvent forever. Once again, like everything else in America, the problems with our economy, with income inequality, and our problems with infrastructure, jobs, 
the whole package, can all be solved simply by making the rich pay their fair share. So why aren't people talking about this? It's such a simple solution. Surely, all these people who are much smarter than I am have figured it out. Of course they have. But there is a concerted effort on the part of the 1% and the conservatives to make sure that this never happens. Thanks for listening.